There's been an iPad leak, which does sound a bit like I'm announcing that I have some sort of problem with incontinence. I don't as it happens, but it seems that Apple does. For a company with a track record of being notoriously secretive about new product launches, they do seem to have more leaks than a Welsh allotment. I am of course referring to the appearance of the M5 iPad Pro in an unboxing video from Russian YouTuber Vilsacom, and it does seem pretty genuine. Now I did a video looking at the A19 Pro chip in the new iPhone to see what we could learn about M5. And now we have some actual M5 benchmarks, I thought it might be fun to revisit that and see how close the predictions were. But also, what's new about the M5 iPad Pro? Not much. Seems like Apple hasn't even changed the picture on the box. And no doubt the perennial Apple haters will leap on this and the unchanged design of the iPad to proclaim that Apple doesn't innovate anymore. And then there'll be the de rigueur comment about Steve Jobs rolling in his grave. Fair enough, but really, why would we expect any change? The M4 iPad Pro was a pretty significant redesign, being much thinner and having that amazing tandem OLED display. So I'd say it's fair to expect two or three generations now without significant design changes. Really, the only thing that's new is the chip. And that's probably also the only thing that the iPad Pro didn't need updating. The M4 already has more performance than iPadOS can tap into on a day-to-day -day basis, even with the welcome multitasking and file system changes in the latest version of the OS. But whilst CPU speed may not be a pressing issue, there are a couple of very welcome upgrades that the M5 appears to be bringing. Firstly, a significant step up in graphics performance, and secondly, an increase in base memory. The models with less than one terabyte of storage will now come with 12 gigabytes of memory instead of eight. Of course, the M4 iPad Pro also had 12 gigabytes of actual memory chips in it. It's just that Apple switched off four of them so you can only use eight. Yeah, I've got no idea why either. In any case, a bit more usable RAM will be welcome to combat the perpetual bloat of AI stuff that all the tech companies seem to think we want, even when we keep telling them we don't. I digress. Let's talk about the benchmarks and compare my estimates with the leak scores. And there are two things to bear in mind here. Uh, firstly, my estimates are based on the M5 chip in a Mac with active cooling, like a MacBook Pro or Mac Mini, whereas this is a very thin iPad. And two, the chip being tested here is a binned chip, so it loses one of those performance cores, and that will obviously impact the multi-threaded performance score. So starting with single core performance, I predicted a Geekbench 6 score for M5 of 4,184. And in the leak benchmark, the score was 4,133. So considering that a Mac will score slightly higher than the iPad, my estimate holds up. What about multi-core performance? I predicted a score of around 17,000. And what did this iPad score? 15,437. Now remember, again, this is a 9-core chip, whereas my estimate was based on a 10-core, but nonetheless, I was possibly slightly optimistic there. Although I do still think we would see 16,500 or more for the 10-core M5 in a Mac. And these are excellent generational improvements over M4. Probably not enough to make anyone rush out to upgrade, especially not an iPad, but if this is going to be your year to change an older Mac, then it's fantastic news because this is better than M3 Pro levels of CPU performance. Graphics have taken an even bigger step forward. We've seen that with the A19 Pro, and it seems to carry through to these benchmarks too. I estimated that the full M5 would potentially be at the level of M3 Pro, which would mean a Geekbench 6 metal score in the mid to high 70,000s range. And this leaked iPad scored 74,568. So yeah, put it in a Mac with better cooling and memory speeds, and it's going to be around the level of M3 Pro. So that's the base M chip performing at the level of the Pro chip from two generations ago. A great leap forward and great news for Mac buyers, and potentially something that lays the groundwork for better gaming support on the Mac. Now, who knows if this leak is actually genuine? It could be a really clever hoax for all I know, but the scores do align with my calculations. So personally, I think it probably is the real thing. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you again soon for some more geekery.